x86-64 version free baseline optimization support is all the rage in Linux at the moment with many distros looking into making this their standard. At work we actually target this because all the systems we use have CPUs that minimally support that and I thought today well maybe I should start making some stage freeze and so for normal users you can just update your system to support this um, from a normal stage free and it's fine no problems at all we even supply binaries for it uh, in the bin host but because as I said I'm using it at work it's probably a good idea to see if we can actually create a stage free that does it by default so this video is going to be that test I guess so to add support in Catalyst the first thing we need to do is tell Catalyst what C flags and CPU flags to use that is done by heading over to right here and as you can see we set all the C flags and CPU flags in here and this pushes it over into our stage 3 to be built so let's go and crack on and add support while we're here let's enable LTO as well right so there are about 50 cpu flags to add to this i can't be bothered to draw it out by hand so i'm going to waste more time by trying to learn how to use sled to do it for me so let's just say that as is Let's uh, copy that just in case I'm missing out. Let's try that. Well, that uh, didn't work. Uh, let's try. Well, that didn't work. Um. Well, that did it. Then I can edit into this. You gotta love static exchange in you sometimes. And let's give this a name. So x86 underscore 64 version that three. And we'll save that. Right, next we need to edit the uh, spec files. So let's make a directory copy over our spec files we want to edit for our new use okay that should oh i've moved them to the wrong place why do i always make the directory but never actually move into it okay the sub arch is going to be x8664 hang on Yeah, so some arch x86 version 3. Give it a name. We'll use the desktop there. Let's create a portage snapshot. Basically, it just puts the portage update into a uh, squash of this file. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to download a, a stage three, I guess. Let's go see if I've got one. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Brilliant. Let's tell it where my reeling file is, and I think the 
Watch everything. Right, let's go and do everything. Uh, let's go and mirror this into the stage three part. So stage one basically gets a snapshot working with a compiler portage and stuff like that. Stage three basically rebuilds everything. So you get the um, the bare minimum you need for a Gen 2 system. Okay, so that should be everything I've done that there. Right, next thing is uh, let's go set some use flags. So at work we don't want our pages to have um, QT stuff wherever possible. We try and keep everything GTK. And why have dependencies that your system is not going to use? We try and keep our base system um, pretty light and then just add stuff in as we need it. As you can see here, this is everything we set uh, in Gen 2. Now, if I copy... So basically, this just uh, enables Pulse Audio by default, WebPM, and stuff like that, then gets rid of QT support, Bluetooth branding, and Wayland, because we don't use Wayland at work here. I'll uh, just wait for the angry comments. So, this should all now work. So if we go back to our build directory, I should be able to call this and it should build first time give it a go whoa that's fine all we need to do then is we've just got a circular dependency going on here Already forgotten how to fix it. Um, is it with P? With M? Why is up my memory lately? Eh? With P, and I did Web M. Brilliant. No, I did it right, didn't I? Oh my god, I've forgotten already. I'm getting old. Yeah, that should work. <laughs> right, let's just uh, start building that. Okay, so let's go in. And looking at the B top on the side, we can see LTOs running. So our C flags have been taken, which is excellent news. So let's let this run through and build. Enjoy the montage song, I guess. I'm sitting here on a Friday night, coffee in my cup. I gotta build me a Gen 2 system. And I ain't gonna give up Stage three tar balls in my sights Bam bam 664v3 With link time optimization That's the dream for me Oh, it's faster than a racehorse Leaner than a hog Optimized like chicken grease Sliding through a log Every three tar balls in my sights Bam bam 664v3 With link I'm optimized six, six, four V3s, the future that we need. It's building speed and power planted like a seed. AVX and BIMI, they're rolling through my mind. FMA brings the math, now that's a rare find. The registers are wider, the cash is plenty deep. This building speed and power planted like a seed Oh, it's faster than a racehorse Leaner than a hog Optimized like chicken grease Sliding through a log Debbie three tar balls in my sights Hell diver 664B3 Eveling time optimized 6, 6, 
six four V three, the future that we need. It's building speed and power planted like a seed. Now it's all about efficiency more than ever before. Link time optimization makes the system so much more. From compiling every package to emerging dependencies, this Gen 2's a rocket flying through the trees. Flags perfect, my C flags to the sky. Every bit of line just right, my CPU won't lie. There's no bloat or wasted cycles, no hand me down flaws. With its Delvin 664v3, you're working without calls. Oh, it's faster than a racehorse, leaner than a hog. Optimized like chicken grease, sliding through a log. In my sights, they'll give her 664v3 with link time optimized 664v3s, the future that we need. It's building speed and power planted like a seed. Yeah! As you can see, we now have a stage 3 built with x86-64 version 3's baseline support and LTO now you're going to be asking yourself is this right for me if you only have one gen to install to worry about then no just get a normal stage 3 and just build on that one system it'll be a much faster than this one but if you've got multiple systems say 5 and all of them were made after 2013 then yeah this might actually be a good time saving tool you could also pair this with a stage 4 build and add all your custom applications as well that you use a stage 4 is basically uh, a stage through a stage 3 with extra bits like you can add your just your favorite display manager if you use them on every single system but yeah, I hope this helped you today, um, and it could be a good time to save. But as always, keep compiling, and I'll catch you on the next one. I make funny Gen 2 videos while also teaching you how to use it properly. If you want to help support me, then visit my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash imolo157. If not, just like and subscribe please, as it really helps with the algorithm. <laughs>